Hello YouTube and welcome to another JUnit video. In this video we are doing primaries testing and let me just show you a couple of things before we begin and kind of explain a little bit about primaries testing and when you should use it. We're gonna use a simple example. Uh, say we have an application and we need to test login and we need to test positive login as well as negative login so we have a test or a set of steps that are going to be the same for all of those tests but the only thing that's going to change is the input that we pass in so this is the perfect candidate for primaries testing and let's take a look add JSON. I'm going to be showing you how to run primaries tests using JSON file because that's probably going to be um, it's going to JSON is very versatile so you can pass in so many different data types inside JSON as well as different uh, just strings without data types uh, that it's going to fit pretty much any test case scenario. And if you know how to use JSON in your primaries testing, then I think you're pretty much solid in 99.9% .9 of the time. So let's take a look at the JSON that I have created over here. So like I said, the only thing that's going to change is basically the input. So in our JSON, we have our parameters here for username and for the password, and they're all different in each one of this um, sub-JSONs. So, and I also went ahead and put test name in here just because you can put anything in here. You can put any kind of parameters in here that you want. Um, but I just gonna for, for the purposes of this video just to keep it as simple as possible just keep this three in here and we should be fine so another thing I also did without filming it is I created a helper class in my Java directory here and this helper class has a method called data and this method is returning a collection in this case it's an array list of objects because we need to make sure we return iterable array type. So um, how did I make this data? Well, I created a JSON parser to retrieve my JSON file from my resources. So I used my parser to parse the file reader and in the file reader I put in my a relative path to my JSON file and, and um, then once I have my raw JSON I get the key set from it and I convert that key set to an array so I can um, iterate through it one by one and once I have my key over here I go into my raw JSON and I retrieve the sub JSON by using this key value and then I add that sub JSON into my data and what I mean by the sub JSON is just this part so I iterate through this row JSON one by one I go here I add it to my data I go here I add it to my data and then I add this to my data and then once I'm done I return my data so what are we going to do with this data? Well, we're going to use this in our primary test suit. So let's go ahead and create our primary test suit now. We're going to right click on a Java directory and we're going to create a new Java class. We're going to call it test suit 3. And the first thing we're going to do in our test suit 3 is we're going to tell we're going to say that we're going to run this with primarized class. Then we're going to create public variable that's going to hold JSON object and we can call it anything, we can call it JSON. And then we're going to mark this with parameterized parameterized parameter. 
and then we're also going to create a public static method that's going to return collection and we're going to call it data and inside of this method we are going to return our helpers data now we're going to add exception to the method signature and then one last thing that we're going to do we're going to mark this method with uh, parameters parameters make sure that you put the s in here as those are different so now we can go ahead and create our test public void call it test and then let's do a couple of sysout prints here to make sure that those tests are in fact different so we're gonna say test name plus json dot get test name and then we're gonna do the same thing for username and the password so we're gonna change this to username and change this to password and then once we run it we should have four different tests with different credentials so let's see test number one we have test name test four then test three and the credential is changing so you can have as many of those tests as you want and also you don't have to uh, read through from a static file you can use Java to create a dynamic JSON file and then maybe write it into resources and then read from it but if you want you can just you know create a static file like this and just read from it but keep in mind that you can just create it dynamically depending on uh, your requirements so that's how you run uh, parameters tests thank you guys for watching make sure to like the video subscribe and see you in the next videos take care